Hey everybody, this is Max with Pure Power Solar, and I wanted to answer the question, can a solar generator power a mini-fridge? Uh, the first straight-up answer is yes. Uh, not only can a mini-fridge do this, but uh, a solar generator can also run a standard refrigerator for about 24 hours. This is for like a medium-sized solar generator. So um, this also means that a mini-fridge can run for about three to six times longer due to the size differences uh, compared to the regular and the mini fridge. So why a solar generator might be the best option to power a mini fridge? So if you choose to use a gas generator that will obviously be loud and it will emit fumes so you'll need to think in advance about how you're going to use that with your mini fridge. A uh, solar generator obviously uses a battery so it's very simple and it can be recharged from the sun with solar energy so it's probably a much better option than a gas power generator. The main difference is that the gas generator has a lot more power capabilities but that's probably not needed unless you're running multiple different things at once. If you're just running a mini fridge then a solar generator is probably the best option uh, just because you're just running a mini fridge doesn't have a massive power requirement you just have to make sure that you're getting the right uh, amount of power from your solar generator so you need to make sure you're getting the right size and before we continue don't forget to comment like and subscribe and hit that bell notification if you haven't already uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to hear more videos regarding solar generators or just solar energy uh, products in general in different questions. I'll answer all of those uh, in future videos. I have a lot of videos to come so uh, hit that bell if you uh, are interested. So next here we have how much electrical energy does a mini fridge take? So this is uh, this varies. There's a lot of different sizes of mini fridges and so I have three examples here that I think will be beneficial to you guys. The first is the smallest size that I've uh, had it have out of these three examples. The, it's 1.7 cubic feet uh, mini fridge, and that has about 208 kilowatt hours of energy that it takes at any given time. The next here we have a 3.3 cubic foot mini fridge, and that takes just a little more at 220 kilowatt hours. And the last one's 4.4 cubic feet, and that is about 228 kilowatt hours for that mini fridge. Now, I definitely recommend that you, uh, if you're looking at a particular mini fridge, make sure that you not only look at the amount of cubic feet, but exactly the amount of kilowatt hours or watt hours it takes to run because they vary significantly and these are just a few examples but there could be one that has takes a lot more energy to run and it could be a smaller one so I definitely recommend checking that out and researching it yourself from my research with these all you have to do is go into they probably have a download sheet if you're on Home Depot.com and looking at a mini fridge you can probably click into specifications there's probably a tab there and there's probably a download that will show you the exact power requirements if it doesn't already show it on the main page. Alright, so next here we have factors to consider in getting a solar generator to power a mini fridge. Well, we already talked about the the previous elements there where um, you know, in regards to a gas generator versus a solar generator, you also want to make sure that you get the right size solar generator. So a medium to large solar generator will work very well. I have some examples of these. I have three of them that I have in my article, which I'll link in the description below. Go ahead and check that out, and you'll see three different solar generators that I have already. But there's also a, several other ones you can get. Um, I'd say anything with about a 800 watt hour battery capacity and greater is probably going to be fine if you're just running a mini fridge alone. If you plan on running more than a mini fridge, um, say a fan or maybe more more sophisticated equipment that requires more power, definitely I, I definitely recommend, recommend stepping it up to a large solar generator. So something around two to three thousand watt hours. So that'll definitely run up in price. Um, solar generators are generally pretty expensive. The uh, you know, the higher you go, obviously, in battery capacity, the more um, money it's going to cost. And plus, um, a lead-acid battery for a solar generator is going to be a lot cheaper because it's heavier. But if you go with a lithium-ion battery, it'll probably last you a good amount longer. So think about that when you're debating over price. Longevity is a big factor to consider. But back to the point here with a uh, other devices that a solar generator can power. 
So some other devices are just basic ones like uh, recharging batteries, like for power drills, for your phone, tablet, laptop, uh, drone batteries. You can um, run uh, different fans, even uh, large fans with a uh, solar generator. You can run lights. Many can run fr refrigerators, as mentioned before, for about a day uh, before it has to be recharged. So it definitely depends on which solar generator you get, and that will tell you what you can power with it. Another important factor co to consider is a uh, surge capacity. So you want to make sure that you have, uh, first off, a good general inverter that is capable of around 1,000 watts continuous if you're considering running a more sophisticated and, and uh, heavy heavier equipment. But uh, if you're running a mini fridge, I would say something around 800 watt hour range is perfectly fine. And make sure the inverter matches that as well. Some inverters, for example, the Energy Apex, it's um, it has a inverter that's more powerful than the battery. So you can only run it on 550 watts uh, continuous, even though it has an inverter that's capable of using it to 1500 watts continuous. So got to make sure the inverter is matching the battery uh, so you get the exact amount you need for a mini fridge. Another basic bullet point here is what is a solar generator? It's just it, basically there's a few components. You need solar panels if you want to make it a solar generator and then you connect that to the actual solar generator which is a battery usually lithium-ion and then it's a charge controller Hopefully it's MPPT, that's the best one for solar energy. It maximizes the amount of solar coming into the generator and charges the battery faster. And then it also has an inverter. So a battery, inverter, charge controller, and solar panel. That's basically what a solar generator is. A lot of people make their own, and uh, a lot of people seem to make them effectively. So you can either buy one or make your own. And the essential parts of a solar generator, we just discussed all those. How much energy can a solar generator supply? This all depends on what size you get. You figure this out by the watt hour terminology. So they can go all the way up to 3,000 or more watt hours. Those are the very high end, uh, expensive ones um, that are more particular for uh, backup for your home or running major appliances. And then it could go all the way down to 100 watt hours or 150 watt hours for just a little tiny, uh, easy, like portable one. So it totally depends. Um, so that's kind of a really generic question to answer, but it varies significantly. And so I have a list here of different solar generators that you can trust. So there's three models I have from pretty highly respected companies. And these generators are really good for not only a mini fridge, but a lot of them have more power capabilities than just running a mini fridge. And so the reason why I put larger solar generators on this list is because it's it guarantees that you can run a mini fridge and other items if you want to. So that's what I have there. You can always get a smaller one, but check out my article there. And that's all I have for you today. Stick around, subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next video.